Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today, after almost three years since the iPod Touch's last update, Apple has refreshed the lineup by releasing the sixth generation iPod Touch. <laughs> All right, so to start off, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited for the iPod Touch. The last update we received to the device was actually when the fifth generation was released way back in October of 2012. So again, it's been almost three years and to get started, let's talk about the device by opening up the Apple Store app. So immediately you'll notice inside of the shop tab, we now have new colors for the iPod models. That's because we also have new iPod Shuffle and iPod Nano colors only. They've retained the exact same price point, the same form factor. Literally everything's the same. The only thing that's different are the colors. So now Apple has introduced new colors with the iPod Touch, which of course are now carried over to the Nano and Shuffle. We'll get into the colors in just a second, but as you can see here, immediately when we go to the iPod Touch section, it says right below it pretty much everything. It features an A8 chip, an 8 megapixel eyesight camera, and five stunning colors. Although there really are six because there's also a product red version but let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit as you'll notice it goes into the music section here discussing that as well as how you can get full access to Apple Music on the iPod Touch. And then below that, it discusses gaming, but really more than anything, this highlights the processor. It will finally feature a 64-bit CPU, the exact same one that's found in the current iPhone lineup. So yes, the iPod Touch will receive the latest CPU from Apple. However, we don't know at what speed it will be clocked at. So it could be slower than the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, but at any rate, it will definitely be a huge bump because the fifth gen iPod Touch simply features Apple Apple's A5 CPU, which is starting to become extremely outdated, and the 5th gen iPod Touch definitely lags for a lot of users. So now scrolling down even more past the CPU section, it talks about photos as well as iOS 8. So this will be great for developers because they'll be able to run the latest versions of iOS, hopefully as seamlessly as the iPhone models. So it will be perfect because they won't have to utilize their daily drivers for development. They can finally develop on an iPod Touch, restore it however many times they need to and test their 64-bit apps on the device. It's also going to be a great product for those of you who are younger and who maybe aren't ready for an iPhone or whose parents don't feel like you're ready for an iPhone. And it's kind of an awesome gateway product into the iOS ecosystem. So we finally have a new iPod Touch. Unfortunately though, it still will feature the same four inch retina display that's found on the fifth gen, as well as the same regular home button. We will not have Touch ID on the sixth generation iPod Touch. It seems like Apple is just just doing the bare minimum to keep the device updated and to keep it functional on the latest firmware releases. So quickly as we start to wrap up here, let's tap into buy now and you'll notice we now have five colors with a six being product red. So we have silver, space gray, blue, and gold as well as pink. So kind of some interesting colors there. Let me know what you guys think about the color options down below in the comment section. And as for configurations, we have 16 gigabytes all the way up to 128. So unfortunately, Apple has yet to acts the 16 gigabyte model even with the iPod touch lineup but it does start at only $199 which again is a really great price point for an entry level iOS device. All right guys so that wraps up this video just one last quick summary we have the new 6th gen iPod touch with an A8 64 bit CPU an 8 megapixel eyesight camera five color options with a 6 being product red it starts at $199 for 16 gigabytes and goes all the way up to 100 128 gigabytes. And for those of you interested in winning a brand new iPad Air 2, just be sure to navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, then sign up and come back here, rate this video up, and leave a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the 6th Gen iPod Touch and whether you'd be interested in a giveaway. Because I know I was going to give away a new Apple Watch again. I already did do an Apple Watch giveaway previously, but with the release of the new 6th Gen iPod Touch, I think that might be a better giveaway. Again, let me know what you think about that down below. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I covered new things ranging from the iPod Touch 6 Gen to iOS 9 and jailbreaking, just be sure to subscribe if you have yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.